Welcome to Tech Brothers Zamayo. In this video, we are going to learn how to stop, start, restart SQL instances that can be your SQL server, that can be MySQL or Postgres on GCP by using console and G Cloud. So let's go ahead and take a look here. First of all, I will suggest you a few of the things here. If you have a lot of instances, maybe for development and all that, and you can just stop them. What happens if you stop them, you will not be paying the same amount when they are running. So in those cases where you use for dev and uh, test and all that, maybe in, by evening you can turn it off and the next day you can uh, turn them on. Now here, uh, if I will go right here on the blade and uh, that's where you're going to see SQL and uh, after that you're going to see all those uh, different instances of SQL. I have only uh, this uh, instance uh, called Tech Brothers of SQL and this is a type of SQL server. So you could have uh, here uh, MySQL or Postgres as well. Once you click on that instance, uh, then you're gonna see all those uh, properties in the console uh, that I was talking about. You can uh, stop here and uh, then you can restart and once uh, you stop here, then you can uh, start as well. Now, if you stop, uh, um, how much money you will be pay after that? You're still gonna pay the money for it to store storage and IP assigned to the uh, this uh, instance uh, but you will not be paying the, the same amount what you are paying when it is uh, started and running. Uh. So that's good thing uh. but you will be still uh, paying some amount uh, to the Google. Now let's go ahead and stop this instance uh, right here you can see that it's runnable right now and if I go ahead and stop then uh, it is a uh, throw you a message here hey you want to stop it yes i would like to stop it here it is shown as uh, the status here is stopping right now and uh, let's see uh, how long it take to stop uh, sometime it take like a couple of minutes uh, depends you know so it is stopping right now okay it stopped actually less than a minute uh, and uh, now it is stopped and you can see right there it's now it is showing a stopped status so if i will click right there again and uh, see my uh, instance and you can see that uh, now it is a gr uh, kind of grayish so the color has changed from green to the gray so uh, that's where you can see that it is uh, stopped let me click back on this uh, and uh, also you can see when i hover my mouse uh, it is showing me stopped status uh, now i click here and then uh, what i can do now i can uh, uh, start again so remember that there was a restart button so if it is started then you can restart so let's go ahead and start uh, because right now it is stopped let's click on the start button and it's gonna do one thing it's gonna start our SQL instance so finally our SQL instance is uh, started and it took almost four minutes uh, to start uh, and uh, you can see that the status is runnable and you can see the green uh, tick mark right there. If you click right there on the uh, icon and uh, you're going to see instance uh, in green check mark as well uh, and it says runnable. Now that's great if you click right there and uh, you only need to restart uh, instead of uh, stopping and uh, starting you have this option here once uh, your uh, SQL instance uh, is uh, uh, running. Uh, so you can see the option here restart so you can simply go here and click on restart it will restart till uh, now what we have done we have stopped our instance from the console and then it started and as I said that you can restart as well if it is already running and started now what we are gonna do next task we are gonna go and do the same thing from the G cloud so I will put this link there and this is where it says start stop and restart instance and uh, you have these uh, three tabs there, SQL Server, Postgres, and uh, you know, MySQL. So you can click here and then uh, you can uh, copy the code. So if you wanna do the console, you can uh, uh, click right there and see the steps from there. But if you wanna do G Cloud, you can uh, do from here. So in this case, uh, let's say to start uh, a stopped instance. Uh, so you can use this one. And uh, let's say if we want to stop the instance, uh, uh, then uh, we can uh, use uh, this uh, statement um, so where we will say activation policy is equal to never if you want to start then we'll say always um, so that's where this will start and uh, this will stop uh, let's uh, put our SQL uh, instance name here and first of all uh, we will stop uh, or maybe instead of stopping we will simply go ahead and uh, restart um, so we'll use this statement to restart uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here and uh, now you can uh, once uh, you paste your SQL instance name, so it will be G Cloud SQL instances restart this. Uh, and if you go further up, uh, when I change uh, this uh, instance name here, it also got affected in these other uh, 
uh, tabs here as well um, so you can copy this statement if you want to stop the instance so now what we are going to do we are going to go right here in our portal and uh, let me copy this uh, statement first so i'm going to copy and now i will go here and uh, then uh, we are going to click here activate google uh, sorry cloud shell once you do that it's going to open this uh, window right here and then you can uh, write or paste your statement so okay so it is already and uh, what i'm going to do right click here and paste and say g cloud sql instances restart our instance name that's what it is and i am going to hit enter once you hit enter it's going to ask you do you authorize this yes i do and uh, it's going to ask me my account number name sometime and you just provide that uh, now it is uh, as instance will shut down and uh, restart uh, start up again immediately if it is activation policies always if on demand so this message there you know do you want to continue yes i want to continue so let me just uh, type y and hit enter so this is the first time I'm here and I have not enabled uh, some API's and it is asking me do you want to enable the API's yes I want to and now it is uh, enabling right here saying restarting cloud instance and working you know? now if you go here and uh, uh, let's take a look on this is uh, right now still uh, you see right there instance is being updated so now it's uh, working it uh, through uh, and uh, you can see right there is uh, saying working so our instance uh, will go in uh, stop mode first and then it will uh, go to the start um, so if you want to go here one more time just click on connection uh, I will uh, just uh, see and uh, right there still working and now what happened it has uh, us restarted our SQL instance so that was quick so you can see right there it is a uh, runnable now if we want to do the stop one again uh, just to for your uh, thing you uh, you know you can see right there to stop the instance we can copy this statement bring it here and just uh, paste it uh, so I'm gonna make this one let up so you can see paste the query here and then hit uh, enter now it is a uh, working and uh, stop in the instance uh, so you see that our activate activation policy is set to never that means uh, stop the instance uh, and uh, if it is uh, always that means start so we will uh, just uh, go to connection here and go to overview again so you can see that uh, now it is instances be is being updated uh, so shortly it will be stopped uh, and remember that uh, I told you guys it uh, almost uh, took uh, uh, 40 seconds last time when I stopped this instance so stopping probably take less time and when you restart uh, sorry when you start uh, uh, then it take more time so it took almost four minutes uh. so now you can see that uh, tech uh, brothers sequel instances are stopped right there you can see it is still uh, saying on working but it should be completed soon now you will go re right there see the in the overview you can see right there it has stopped totally and now also the command has completed successfully now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, execute the other one to start uh, so it say G cloud SQL instances patch uh, and then says uh, your instance name and dash dash activation policy always uh. so this is uh, the statement to start your SQL instance uh. and uh, I can right click here and paste hit enter and now it is a uh, starting our instance so sometime you might feel like I do too much you know each and every step uh, but uh, this is one way to learn because a lot of people miss that and uh, see right now it is called instances being updated so it is in the process of first start it might take four minutes to finish this one now I want to go back here and show you some uh, other parts of it so remember that we have done only SQL server if I click on Postgres SQL and uh, let's take a look on the statements uh, and see if they are different uh, so they are same statements uh, to start your instance and uh, they are to stop the instance also same and also the same for your uh, restart uh, so not a big difference uh, there is no difference actually and MySQL probably the same one as well so you can see right there uh, same statement so so same statement will work just the instance name you have to put there and it doesn't matter it is a MySQL PostgreSQL or SQL server the same statement will work to stop start and restart your instance also let's take a look on this uh, a few of the nodes 
uh, never is supported uh, for the read replicas only so uh, you can't really shut down those uh, uh, read only replicas and uh, also there are certain things you need to remember when an instance is nearly out of the storage capacity it is stopped to prevent the loss of uh, information so in uh, one of my video remember that when I was creating the instance uh, I said the uh, auto storage uh, uh, increase uh, disable so I did that so in case uh, you have done that like you have a uh, provided only 20 GB and if it is almost full uh, it, the instance is going to stop uh, uh, to prevent the loss of uh, information so you will see the red circle uh, in the explanation mark indicates the status of that uh, SQL instance so in those cases uh, what you can do let's say in this case uh, uh, if you go to the uh, settings of that uh, you know and you will edit uh, you will see the uh, auto store um, right here enable auto storage increase so I will suggest if it is uh, something you believe like it is a production and uh, uh, the storage should not be the issue in case when the storage is full you want to increase that fine you can auto enable it and it will keep increasing uh, but in case uh, you think like it's a development it should not go above 100 GP and if other people are maybe creating databases they will you don't want to increase more than 100 GB you can uh, set to disable that one that I did in the first video when I created the instance and uh, in case uh, if it is failing or something like that then you can uh, always go back and check which database is the large size database who has created it and then maybe work it out uh, maybe delete the database or increase the auto uh, by yourself so maybe from 100 to 150 so I will do that uh, uh, demo in the next video show how to increase uh, uh, the storage uh, on the SQL instance Finally, our SQL instance is uh, started and you can see right there this has completed as well as you can see the green tick mark right there. So that's all for this video. So you learn how to stop the instance, you learn how to start the instance, you learn how to restart by using console or you also learn how to use the uh, G Cloud uh, commands uh, uh, to perform the same operations. I thank you for watching this. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.